This movie shouldn't be nearly as good as it is. What's up guys, my name is Glassfoot. Hobbs and Shaw, the spin-off movie of Fast and Furious. Starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Statham. This is better than all the others. Like, seriously. So, honestly, I like the Fast and Furious franchise. I like them because they're dumb. They're B-movies, I've never actually taken them that seriously as films before. The, the first three I find pretty entertaining, in fact three is my personal favorite, but that's because, you know, it actually involves street racing more than anything else. But, Hobbs and Shaw is actually good. It's hilarious. It's really, really funny the way that they interact with each other. And, um, in fact, that's some of my favorite, like, character moments of the entire franchise. And, for me, I think one of my personal favorite things is just Hobbs and Shaw, the way that they interact with each other, they can get along to get what they need done done, but they overall do not like each other. That is just a fact, and it's really, really funny to see how that gets played with. They're just... It's a legitimately funny film. It feels more like a comedy than an action movie, which, um, for this, I feel like makes a lot of sense and actually works really, really well. One of the greatest things about this movie is the comedy. The Rock is a really good comedic actor in terms of how he's able to pull off. Jason Statham also did really, really good as comedy, which you wouldn't really expect considering that they're both action stars, but they managed to pull off the comedy really, really, really well. Um, Kevin Hart actually shows up for a minute, and his character is so freaking funny. Um, ooh, Ryan Reynolds is also in this movie. Ryan Reynolds' character, Locke. Ah, he made my day so much. This movie is worth the price of admission solely for Ryan Reynolds' performance. Like, seriously, if you don't want to see this movie for any other reason, go watch it for Ryan Reynolds. It is amazing. There's a lot more action, um, than... Like a normal comedy, um, there's a lot, there's a good number of fights and whatnot. And Jason Statham in The Rock, uh, Jason Statham especially, always brings really, really good energy to his fight scenes and all that. Like, just really, um, that's the style of fighting that, like, I'm used to. Very high energy, um, block, hit, block, hit type deal. As opposed to what The Rock does, where he kind of just punches someone in the face and they fall. It's, it's a really great juxtaposition, especially when you see both of them fighting. There's a really good underlying message in this film about family. Um, so in this movie, The Rock's family is it. If you've seen any of the trailers, uh, you know that uh, his character Hobbs, their family shows up. But you find out why he doesn't talk about them. He... I'm not going to go into great detail because that goes into spoiler territory and I don't want to do that. It explains like why he left his family and why he doesn't want to go back. And I actually thought it was really, like, powerful, and it was a good good tie-in to the whole family themes that uh, seem very prevalent throughout the rest of the fra- f through, <sighs> through the rest of the Fast, f Fast and Furious franchise. There's a great deal of family stuff with uh, Deckard and his sister, and, um, uh, and you actually find out uh, what actually happened to Shaw, like, um, the specific thing that got him blacklisted and labeled a traitor. Yeah, Idris Elba was a great villain. Uh, just the whole biomechanical cult thing. Um, they're re it's really, really good. Um, that whole plot and uh, the villain that gets set up. Um, there's an end credit scene and it's really funny because Ryan Reynolds. Again, I highly recommend this movie. For me, this movie rolls a 16. Highly, highly, highly entertaining. Maybe not something that I would go super out of my way to watch, but every now and then, just as a really good pick-me-up, I think it would be a great entry into the Fast and Furious franchise. Uh, but tell me what you guys think. If you've seen it, uh, tell me what you thought. If you thought it was good, bad, any of the things in between. Um, and that's all I have to say. All right, guys. Peace out. Oh, and uh, one more quick thing. Uh, sorry that I've been gone for the past couple of weeks. Uh, again, camp that I told you. Um, hopefully the vi my videos will pick up, um, potentially not reviews, there's not a ton of stuff coming out for a couple of weeks that I really want to see, and I don't get to see everything anyway, um, probably not going to do a Lion King review, um, would just be me ranting at the camera about how it sucks compared to the original, I don't like the Disney live action remakes in any way, um, but... So yeah, hopefully other content that I have picks up, and I'll probably be, I will try to release a video soon explaining the other types of content and whatnot that I want to put on this channel. Alright, for real guys this time, peace out.